This is another quick video update on the progress of the computer. So right now, uh, as you can see, a lot of it has been uh, finished. Uh, the computer is working right here. As you can see, the digits uh, flicking at the back. And I have also installed a front panel. Uh, so this is uh, the front panel that I'm uh, working on at the moment. Uh, here are LEDs. That bit flipping right there is the clock. It's on a slow clock right now. So these LEDs here will uh, display uh, registers and the state of the CPU like the flags, etc. There are a few uh, dip switches here also for uh, for the configuration. So and uh, also these cables right here, they are passing the signals of the CPU signals and also display signals. So these are uh, CPU signals. Uh, control signals and these are just for display so uh, the register uh, the status uh, register for example comes from this board into the uh, front panel board and they will be displayed here actually they are being displayed here on the first uh, first row of uh, LEDs uh, so this board here is the microcode uh, is the controller uh, board which has the microcode which sends the control signals to the rest of the CPU uh, the board, the board on the bottom are basically uh, registers, and also the circuits for the virtual memory. Um, then this board here, it's hidden, but uh, this is the memory board. Uh, it's also going to be the I/O board for serial ports and uh, also a video uh, circuit in the future, and a sound circuit as well. So, right now. Uh, there are a few configurations. So this is the crystal oscillator. It's running at 5 MHz and then it's being divided uh, by the chips here at the, at the back to slow it down. Uh, so the first row of LEDs uh, of dip switches here selects uh, clock speed. Uh, the second one selects uh, different types of clock, for example single step clock and the the crystal oscillator with different uh, velocities, speeds. The next one here is the. There are a few control uh, control buttons. For example, the first one is reset. Let me try to focus this. I'm holding the camera in my hand, so it's a bit difficult. The first button is re is the reset button. The second button is uh, to stop the clock. Uh, the third and fourth buttons are for the manual clock. For the time being, uh, I have to do a set and reset uh, clock cycle. And then the rest are, for example, the DMA request button to put the CPU into a, a, a hold where it releases all the buses for, for use by another device. And then there are more, uh, there are more buttons for other functions. And then the last dip switch is uh, is just a temporary dip switch at the moment for the interrupts. So there are eight uh, interrupts, maskable interrupts right now, uh, because they're not connected to any device. I just uh, routed them into dip switches. So for example, the computer is running right now. I can come here on the on this dip switch and stop the clock like that. So. Now the clock stops and the CPU is stopped. And I can then come back here and flip it again and the CPU just resumes uh, whatever it was before. There is also, uh, for example, we can call an interrupt. If I flip this and show you the digits, it will jump to uh, the interrupt handler uh, it saves the program counter in the stack does everything it has to do and then jumps to the interrupt code and then when it's done uh, it jumps back to whatever it was doing before so I'm going to be working uh, on the on the rest of the front panel right now so it can display everything and then I have to start work on the the micro code actually because it's not finished um, I still have to program each instruction uh, for the CPU. So there are 256 instructions total and they have to be programmed by hand 
uh, have made the, a piece of software to do that uh, on the computer, on the PC. I can program each instruction by uh, selecting which control bits I need and then I just program them with a ROM programmer and then it works. So that's it for now. Uh, as soon as I have done more progress I will make more videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching.